Hi guys, I'm Nate from Recapped Now. Today, I'm going to recap a 2006 fantasy romance movie called It's Boy Girl Thing. When a class trip to a museum places two rival teenagers under an ancient Incan spell, the two awake the next day to find that they've switched bodies. As they cope with their bizarre situation, both realize that they must discover a way to reverse the spell. The film begins with Nell reading Romeo and Juliet. Her neighbor Woody is currently dancing in his room to loud music. The girl requests the man to turn off the track. He agrees, provided the neighbor shows her the girls. An enraged Nell closes the window, but her shirt is trapped, and she still shows the neighbor her charm. In the morning, the heroine awakens and greets the cat. Woody is also awake. The guy removes his stress before class. Nell eats breakfast with her family, Ted and Catherine. She received a letter from Yale. The girl is pleased. She has an interview at the university next week. Woody also has breakfast with his family. His mother, Dala, has cooked scrambled eggs. Stan, the boy's father, reminds the hero about the approaching football match. Nell goes to the bus stop and repeats the speech about the given lesson. She missed the bus. Woody is picked up by his friend Harry. They are driving a sports car and loving the music. They see Nell. They decide to pull a joke on her by dousing her with water from a puddle. The heroine is shocked. She arrived at school with an innovative haircut. Everyone gazed at the girl, and Glicken, one of her classmates, complimented her. In the school corridor, the heroine encountered a neighbor with a girlfriend. The person apologized for the puddle incident, but Nell recognized that his apologies was phony. In class, the teacher explained the lesson's topic to the students. Nell was preoccupied, and a neighbor downloaded a link to her computer that had explicit photographs of guys. After class, Banna and Woody were discussing how they should dress up for prom. The teacher led the students on a field trip to the museum. He assigned them paired assignments. Woody and Nell had to work in pairs. The boys began bickering beside an antique statue. They said some unpleasant things to one other before leaving. In the evening, Woody danced at his window again. Nell read a letter to Yale. The lads went asleep. But then something happened. The hero awoke in the morning to find two melons rather than his own body downstairs. He noticed his neighbor's reflection in the mirror. Nell, on the other hand, was astonished to see the welcome counter still there from the morning. When the guys peeked out the window, they spotted each other. They planned to meet soon and discuss. Woody was having trouble with his bra and decided not to bother with the additional gear. Nell was attempting to deal with a bulging bodily part. Nell's mother had her daughter eat oatmeal. The heroine ate a meat for breakfast, as the boy was accustomed to. They both didn't enjoy the dish. Woody's friend came to bring up the boy from the residence. Nell got into the car to go to school. Woody saw the neighbor in his body drive away with his companion and ran to catch the bus, but he was late. The guy swore. A bystander made a remark since Woody resembled a female, and young girls do not express themselves brutally. At school, the boys gathered on the football field. They attempted to understand the relationship, but were unable to find out how they could transfer bodies. The heroes chose to wait. Nell tried to use the restroom and vowed herself not to eat any more wieners. In class, the teacher questioned the girl about the greatest American. Since the heroine had Woody in his body, he mentioned J. Lo. Nell was outraged by his actions. The neighbor was destroying her reputation. At lunch, the guy's girlfriend invited him to her house to have some fun. Nell despised Banna's easy access. The boyfriend's pal reminded him of the extra bra. The squad was warming up on the field in preparation for the game. The heroine was having a bad game. The coach reprimanded her. After class, Harry approached his pal to offer some suggestions. The guy was out of his undies and offered to massage his helmet for good luck. The next morning, nothing had changed. Woody met his neighbor outside the school and was unsatisfied with the heroine's football skills. The girl styled the guy's body to her satisfaction. The hero did not agree. He wanted to teach his neighbor a lesson. The next day, Woody placed a Frank outfit on Nell. The heroine was appalled by what the guy was doing to her body. He was eating hot dogs and spreading sauce on them to calm her neighbor down. Nell also ruined his reputation in the school community. 
In the L, she praised a classmate's aubergine. In contrast, Woody was enjoying his personal cleanliness in the female's locker room. After class, Nell ended his relationship with the guy's girlfriend. Woody was angry, so he departed with a motorcycle to have some fun at a classmate's place. The hero soon changed his mind. Della became aware that something was occurring to her son. The woman gave him her support. Woody changed his mind about offering his flower to a student and fled from the trailer. In the next scene, Nell and Harry were driving to school. She suggested that the guy broaden his musical preferences. The dude is on... On the other hand, no one spread gossip about the heroine. Everyone at the school talked about it. The girl wailed on the stairs. The teacher was astonished to find the crying football player in the corridor. The heroes met. Nell felt outraged by what her neighbor did to her body. Woody revealed that he didn't have fun with a classmate. He went to the gym to address the gossip. The hero intended to strike the basketball player, but he was stronger, and he was hit by Nell. After getting revenge on their classmate, the couple remembered arguing in front of the sorcerer's statue the night before the body swap. The heroes proceeded to the museum to fix the situation. They told the monument how near they had come, but nothing happened. Later, in the cafe, they talked about how they could help each other. After class, Woody advised his roommate to do well in the match. Nell was preparing the guy for his Yale interview. As the man was moving into Nell's home, the neighbor asked him for advice on how to cope with an AUB gene in the morning. The hero suggested relaxing or envisioning something unpleasant. Nell walked downstairs to have some water. The boy's father informed her he was friends with Nell's father, but Catherine cut off communication. The next day, Woody arrived to school dressed like Nell. On the parapet, he noticed Harry's girlfriend. The girl discovered that her boyfriend was cheating on her. She admitted she was terrified of being invisible. Chanel asked her classmate to a pajama party. Brianna was not delighted with the presence of a classmate. After speaking, the girls decided to have some fun. Nell and Harry observed the beauties. The heroine attempted to express to the guy the importance of his friendship with Chanel, but the pal preferred to have fun at the pajama party. Woody tried to figure out how Brianna felt about him. It found out that the girl was only dating him because of his position on the sports team. The girl suggested that the hero trim down the bikini area. Woody agreed. The new pals planned to give Nell's body a Brazilian haircut. Meanwhile, Nell was resting at a bar with her neighbor's friends. The females restrained the hero and inserted a gag into his mouth. After finishing, they displayed the fruits of their labors. After leaving the bar, Harry and Nell walked home inebriated. In the morning, Woody assisted his neighbor in dealing with her hangover. In the afternoon, they exercised on the beach. Woody observed a peculiar reaction from his body to Nell's. He assumed she had a crush on him. The lads continued their training and had a good time. In the evening, Nell climbed through her bedroom window to Woody's. The guy was heading to a job interview, and his neighbor had given him advice on what to wear. Woody recommended that Nell attend prom with him. Catherine inquired about her daughter and Woody's activities over breakfast. The mom disliked the idea that her daughter was spending so much time with her neighbor. Nell visited Woody's house in the evening, but the girl's father informed him that she was not there. She kissed the man's cheek goodbye. This surprised Ted. The neighbor found his pal at the stadium. He relieved his stress through sports. Nell wanted to talk to the person, but he was upset by Catherine's statements. He stated he was concerned about the approaching events. The guys argued and then went home. In the morning, Woody attended a job interview at Yale. During the interview, he expressed his viewpoint on poetry. At that point, Nell's match began. Woody allowed the examiner to listen to his favorite songs as an illustration of modern poetry. The game began at the stadium. Nell did her best to demonstrate her boyfriend's professionalism. Woody came to support his pal at the match. He sat on the podium with his parents. The guy appreciated how his family supported him. Nell confirmed Woody's ranking as the season's best player. In the corridor, a scout halted the player. The man handed the guy a business card from the university and requested him to contact him. Then, a neighbor approached Nell. They discussed how the game and interview went. The lads recognized they had sympathy for each other.
they admitted to having agreed to live someone else's life in exchange for staying in each other's bodies. That's when the magic occurred. The crew rushed forward to congratulate the guy. At that point, they knew they were back in their bodies. The hero's conversation was interrupted by his pals. Brianna went up to Woody. The girl complimented him on his win. Nell witnessed the couple kissing, which hurt the heroine. The next day, Woody wanted to speak with Nell. Catherine wished the guy a nice evening with Brianna. She advised her daughter not to be upset over the person. The girl was admitted at Yale. Woody prepared to go to prom. At a gathering, Brianna approached him. The girl told her lover that her dress was too tight, therefore she did not wear underwear. Woody wished his sweetheart good health and went to fetch some punch. Harry and Chanel were also making their way to the celebration. The girl discovered Brianna's weird underpants in her boyfriend's car. Brianna was worried about the approaching announcement of the school's king and queen. The girl went to the restroom with her girlfriend. Chanel proposed that Harry do it in the bushes. She advised the guy pretend he was a secret spy hidden in the bushes. Harry agreed. Guy hastily stripped off his clothing, and Chanel collected his belongings and drove away in his car. Nell sat on the balcony when her father came out to speak with her. Tom recommended his daughter to attend the ball, and he gave her a dress and shoes. Nell was overjoyed to see her father supporting her when the school declared the prom king. Woody Brianna was crowned queen, and the couple planned to kick off the school prom with a dance. However, at the entry, Woody observed his roommate Nell, who was dressed in a stunning green gown. Without spotting anyone, the hero approached the girl, recited Shakespeare to her, and expressed his feelings. Woody kissed Nell after throwing out his crown, which had been broken by the attractive lad at school. This enraged Bana. She wanted to deal with the pair. Chanel stepped on the hem of her dress, and the skirt ripped off, displaying Bana's buns. The characters exited the gathering, and Harry entered, covering his AUB jeans with balloons. However, the balloons burst, leaving the guy naked. The heroes kissed beneath a tree between their residences, and Nell disclosed that Woody got a job interview instead of her. The hero's father stepped out onto the porch, overjoyed that their children had fallen in love. Nell eventually informed her parents that she intended to attend university a year later. Catherine was surprised, but her daughter insisted. The girl stepped into Woody's car, and the two drove away to enjoy life. Please do hit that like button if you enjoyed the recap. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more movie recaps. Stay tuned for our next cinematic adventure, and until then, happy watching.